From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings at LA with incredible great details about your fourth stimulus check updated 2021 today. In this recording, we're going to go over the breaking news that happened on Friday, why Leader Schumer's announcement was incredible. The vote is coming for the multiple stimulus checks package called the Four Stimulus Package. We'll go over in this recording all the breaking details of the multiple stimulus checks, how much is at issue, the House versus Senate plan, and more. It's incredible. Then in the second half of this video, we go over the absolute wonderful raising of your benefits, especially my veterans under the Fifth Stimulus Package. And in the middle of this recording, we go over the big money, thousands of dollars that viewers continue to get every single day. And you should be the next one to get it. And you can. In this video, we're going to go over how you can get it and when you're going to get it. It's a big night. It's a big evening. Let's get to it. This is Evenings at a Light. everybody how are you doing it is a beautiful evening here in los angeles it was cool today it was cool breezy almost sweater sweater weather here today can you imagine uh you yeah june gloom coming early in the last few days of may how's the weather where you are tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather for you tonight in this recording we can go over the incredible great details about that forced stimulus vote that chuck schumer has now announced we'll be going over the details of the forced stimulus push for that check from the house bill to the senate proposal and then in the second half of this video we're going over the bait raising of your benefits up, especially my veterans. And then we go over the big money, thousands of dollars that viewers continue to get, and I want you to be the next person. This is Adelaide, the only 24-hour a day, seven days a week financial news channel. Now breaking YouTube records, 400,000 subscribers in one year for a reason. We are here to help you and here to inform you. I'm next with you with Evenings Crypto, two hours after the show, followed by Overnight Crypto, which last night broke YouTube records on this channel, a 15-hour show. So subscribe. Also like this video and consider becoming a member. Let's get right to the details. That four stimulus, uh, multiple stimulus packages, multiple stimulus checks have two routes the House bill and the Senate proposal. The House bill provides a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. That's the Jalapal bill. The Senate proposal, on the other hand, provides a stimulus check from July to December. If you're watching the show just after 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, get ready to vote in the live chat. Or if you watch it later, vote in the comments which one you like. Then the House proposal provides a monthly stimulus check, $2,000 a month of for $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter. And the Senate amount is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Yes, wow. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. But before you vote, let's go back to Jalapal's bill and why macroeconomics may be impacting it. Jalapal's bill provides a stimulus check for the pandemic plus one year, but some legislators are now indicating that the pandemic for legislative purposes may be done by the time the Jalapal bill is called for a vote. If that's the case, then Jalapal's bill provides you a stimulus check for 12 months, not 12 months plus pandemic. And 12 months under Jalapal's bill is $13,000. How does that compare to the Senate? Over six months. <laughs> there you go. So if you're in the live chat or in the comments later on the nighttime watching the show, vote House or Senate. Which one you like? House or Senate? And tell me where you're tuning in from. Boy. So now let's get to the great details about this fourth stimulus. First, who gets it? You do, including my veterans. If you make less than $75,000, you get a fourth stimulus check. Multi uh, husband and wife, 150000 or less, you get these multiple stimulus checks, double them. If you are a family of four, you get these four stimulus checks, quadruple them. And then if you are a veteran or SSI, SSCI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, or Veterans Benefits, you get these four stimulus checks. Would it come out in waves? They can't do waves. These are monthly stimulus checks. 
is there a different amount for different people? No. This is the same amount of stimulus check for adult dependents, minor dependents, and everyone else. It is not income, so it's not taxable. It would not come out in ways. We don't know anything about, about child support. And it's being done currently as a two-bill, two-step, two-month process called reconciliation. There you go. Now, remember, I'm a reporter, not a legislator. They make the representations. I'm just reporting their representation. They represent the vote would be in the month of July by July 4th. Fourth, that means that the fourth stimulus check would land in the month of July for the month of July, and then in the month of August for the month of August. Wow. Great news, but it doesn't end there. I have all the breaking details, no less than nine breaking news stories leading up to Chuck Schumer's announcement late Friday, coming up in just a second. But here's a preview of the second half of this video. I'm going to be going over fifth stimulus, and fifth stimulus is just wonderful. It raises your benefits up a lifetime and to the highest level of a generation, including my veterans, and applies a new benchmark. I'll be going over the breaking news and how this will literally change your benefits for a lifetime. It's just wonderful. But first, let's get to this big money that's available for you. You have been killing it. You have just been doing a wonderful job. I don't go less than an hour without a viewer jumping a live chat or sending a social media post or posting something in the comments of the video saying they got money for rent or they got money for utilities or SNAP. Every viewer of this channel qualifies for at least one of these items. So I'm going to go over the details right now. If you got some of this before, get some more. And if you've never got to the money, you qualify qualify for at least one of them, get that pen and paper ready, and stay to the end because I got a lot of money for you. All right, starting first right now with this, $350 billion. No, not $350 billion for you. <laughs> $350 billion is landing at your city, county, and state. It's part of third stimulus, and it's for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and also homeowners utilities. How do you get it? What do you get? What do you say? Let's get those that pen and paper ready. I have all the details for you right now. First, the rent is a lot of money. It's about $5,000, about four to six months of rent. So where do you reach out to? Six places. Here we go. City Hall, City Housing Authority. County Hall, County Housing Authority. State Hall, State Housing Authority. They all have a different income amounts of money for them to disperse to you. They also have different eligibility. So one may say no. If they say no, go to the next one. Different eligibility every step. And it's important to understand that's $5,000 for rent, approximately four to six months of rent. And I want you to go get it. <laughs> I have Tim who got that money yesterday. I had a viewer who was a former volunteer of this channel. He got the utilities last night. And if you need money for mortgage assistance, you say the same thing. Just change the word to mortgage. You're going to say rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage assistance because of COVID. You do not say the word stimulus. When you call up those six locations, that's what you say. All right, I got more money for you. And boy, Lynn Glenn said her, she got some, her son got some. And, then, and today on noontime, she said her mom got some. So the Glens are just killing it. I'm loving it. So what is that money? It is money for SNAP. SNAP is just wonderful. I'm going to go over what it is, how much you can get, and how you get it. All right, you ready? SNAP is money for food. It is money for food. And a family of four can now get upwards of $16,000 in Hawaii per year. Wow. Why so much money? <laughs> Let's go over the details. It's because of two executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raised everyone's benefits up 15% between now and December. So how do you get it? Call up Department of Agriculture, DOA, or call 2 in one and they'll get you connected over. Congratulations to all the viewers who can continually, there was about two or three in the live chat today at noontime, said they got the money for SNAP as well. So congratulations for you. But guess what? I got more money. <laughs> and it's coming from two places. And the first place is from your state. The federal government has identified that the states owe you back money. We love that. We love money back. So let's go over the detail of where that money is. The federal government identified that states had overpaid unemployment benefits to you, and due to computer malfeasance, asked you to return the money, which you did. Well, the federal government said, no, that was your money to keep, and has now ordered the states to return the money back to you. One viewer is getting $5,000 for this. So how do you get this? Where is it? And how do you receive it? Let's go over the details. First, the money's coming back from the state. Second, how do you get it? It's on the bank account that you have on file automatically with the state. Third, when? Every state is different. So reach out to the respective state for guidance.
The next pot of money is wonderful, and it's the IRS refunds back to viewers' this channel. Last night, I had one viewer who is absolutely the epitome of the Purple Power. Purple Power is helping one another, me helping you, you helping others. What did he do? He jumped into the Overnight Crypto Show, which is the new hit show on this channel, it goes 15 hours, where people just chat. And he knew it was a show really about crypto, but he knew that I would be in the live chat. He wanted to find me. And he did find me. And he said, Elliot, I have a message for you. I said, oh, what? He said, I got my unemployment refund check back from IRS on Friday. Please tell the viewers that it came in. I think that's just wonderful. He wanted you to know that he got his check on Friday. So for you to stay positive and focused, that is the spirit of the purple power. He stepped forward to help you. So let's go over this money. First, how much is it? When are you going to get it? How do you get it? And routing times for it. Okay. First, what is this? The federal government is returning back to you the taxes you paid to IRS or Treasury on your 2020 tax return for unemployment benefits. Here's the example. Let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment benefits. Your total unemployment, your total tax bill to IRS last year on 2020 return, let's say it was $5,000, of which you paid $4,000 of taxes on unemployment. Congratulations, you're getting back a $4,000 check in the mail. Now, how are you getting the, the money? In the mail. With the exception if, if you listed a direct deposit account on that return, otherwise in the mail. So you want to look for a white or beige envelope and be surgical on going through that mail over the next few weeks. Because it's a razor thin envelope, you could misplace it. Then, when are you receiving the money? IRS made very clear that all the payments would be sent out by the end of May. But some people heard that as everyone would receive the payments by the end of May. No, they said send them out by the end of May. So the first people who are getting it are the single filers, non-complex returns. The second people are who is the viewer from uh, the live chat. The second group of people are the single filers, complex returns. And the last group is married couples. I had another viewer get $2,000. So I had a couple of viewers who gotten this money. Wonderful, wonderful news. Now, if you have not received it, you can go track it 75% of the time. Go to irs.gov, sign up with a username and password. It's all free. Put your social security number in there and do a transcript search. It'll show the last activity you had on your name, your social, your tax return filed, your taxes paid to IRS, and your refund check. And there you go. Well, the only thing that gets better than that is Chuck Schumer's announcement on Friday. Leader Schumer, head of the Senate, came out and said, not one, not two, but all three confirmations that I've been telling you was going to happen that day. One, I told you that the president was going to call off bipartisan negotiations for the reconciliation bill, the forced stimulus package, on Friday, the, the day before Memorial Day weekend. That's what Leader Schumer said. That ostensibly, the president can chat some more, but for purposes of the legislation, they're not waiting and they're calling the vote. Number two, I told you that he was going to say that Friday, Leader Schumer, that the reconciliation process was already underway, and he did. And number three, I told you he was going to say that the final approval of the bill, the voting into law, would be no later than about July 4th. And he said that again. And there we go. But let's go to what led up to that. There was no less than nine breaking news statements. And you need to understand how this ball has rolled out. It started with Jalapal. Jalapal wrote that House bill several weeks ago that provides that monthly stimulus check. It's a bill. It's a House bill. And when Jalapal wrote that bill, over 100 House Democrats wrote the president a letter saying, we're going to put those monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Well, Jalapal started the ball rolling again about a week ago when Jalapal wrote Schumer a letter saying, call the vote. <laughs> call the vote. Why did y'all Paul do that? Said it's taking too long. There's no reason to wait any longer. What are we waiting for? The Republicans are not raising their counteroffer. Just call the vote. When Jala Paul wrote that letter, over a dozen House Democrats signed it. And guess what? They were part of the 100 Democrats who wrote the president a letter saying, we're going to put the multiple stimulus checks into the four stimulus package. Yes, really. Wow. Now it gets even better a lot better, last Friday. When seven House Democrats wrote this letter to the president, and what did they say? They said, we're gonna work with you to put multiple stimulus checks into the fourth stimulus package. What does that mean? Well, it's a euphemism when they say work with you because they're the ones who actually write the legislation. The president is head of the executive branch. He doesn't write legislation, Congress does. So who are these people? Why would they be writing something? What do they do for a living? They are on the House subcommittee. 
that is solely and exclusively responsible for writing stimulus checks in the first, second, and third stimulus package. And now they're saying no less than one week before the vote's starting that we are going to put those multiple stimulus checks into the first stimulus package. Oh my goodness, it doesn't get any better than that, does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> So then last Friday, the president of the United States sold his, told his legislators, we are just calling the vote. We are going to voting after the by the Friday before Memorial Day weekend. Ne the weekend after, after Memorial Day weekend, I'll just be having lunches with Jill. No more, no more Mitch. <laughs> and there we go. That's exactly what Leader Schumer said late, yes, late Friday. But then Tuesday got even better news. A little complicated, so let me slow it down. The four stimulus is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate. It's currently 21%. The president wants it higher. Well, what happened on Tuesday? The president reached out to global leaders of other countries, called the G7 countries, and said, would you tentatively agree to raising the global corporate tax rate to 15%? They said yes. What's the global corporate tax rate? It refers to the tax rate if you move a business, let's say, from California to France. Then now that the global corporate tax rate is higher, you would be less you would be less encouraged to do so because it wouldn't save you as much money. Well, it got better news because later that day, the president indicated to insiders that once forced stimulus is passed into law, he's going to try to get those G7 countries to sign into law officially the global corporate tax rate of 15%. And if they do, he will drop the U.S. corporate tax rate back to around closer to where it is right now. Oh my God! Four stimulus checks and re reducing the global corporate and reducing our corporate tax rate back down. Can it get better than that? Yeah, it did. <laughs> so it got better on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Wednesday, the president saw the new counter proposal from three Republicans, the four stimulus package, and he said, "No, go call the vote, Republican. Go call the vote, Democrats. We're not doing this anymore. Not going to cut it. I don't want to like the number." And then on Thursday, those people you've been asking about, where are they? Why haven't we heard from them? Why, who, where have they been? Those Senate Democrats finally showed their faces and said, we saw that counter proposal from the Republicans. We're not doing a call the vote. <laughs> wow. And then, of course, on Friday, Lena Schumer said, we're done. We are calling the vote. Boy, later in this video, I'm going to go over the other incredible great news about forced stimulus and how calling the vote, what the calling the vote really means and how it goes through. I have all the incredible details for you. And then I have the big money for fist stimulus really heating up. But first, I want you to get that money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. We do not track checks on this channel. We cash checks. I want you to get all the money you can get. I do not want you to be financially dependent upon one event or one check. I want to get you all this money. And you've been killing it. And I want you to get more money starting right now. So go out to the community page. If you've had problems reaching out, finding this money in your city, county, and state, you've made the effort, you can't find it, then reach out to the volunteers. Open the description to this video. In the description of this video is an emoji of a house. Next to that emoji of a house is the word community page. It sends you to the webpage news.la.com forward slash community. On that page is a picture of some cats. Lower on the page is the volunteers, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them. Their viewers just like you. They're salt to the earth. And they will help you get that money for rent, utilities, mortgage, and internet. And guess what? I'm back in 60 seconds with more exciting news this evening on Evenings at Light. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily.
and then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Evenings LA Late as more details from four stimulus, including that vote, are revealed in the second half of this video. And then this stimulus heats up with that raising your benefits up, including my veterans. How are you? Happy Memorial Day weekend. It is a big day here in Los Angeles. I'm glad you're joining me. How's the weather where you are? This is Evenings LA Late, and this is LA Late, your 24-hour news day, seven days a week financial news channel. We are literally 24 hours a day now. So hit that like button, two, 3,000 likes, and subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single video. I'm next with you with Evenings Crypto. Big show tonight. Is there going to be a crash, or is it not going to be a crash? And then Overnight's Crypto coming up 30 minutes after that. So subscribe. Also like this video, two, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member. In just a second, I'm going to go over the value of membership when we talk about Fifth Stimulus, which we're going to talk about right now. Fifth Stimulus adds in that new, incredible, wonderful reform of SSI. And it's not just SSI. Let's go over broadly the details, and then we're going to go over the specifics. They're going to raise your benefit limits, remove the asset limit, add an inflationary benchmark, then remove the marriage penalty and remove the income solution. All right, let's go over... Bro let's go over the specifics, how this works, go over the calculations and the breaking news about this as well. So what is this? They're going to first raise up all of your benefits to a big new number. Who's you? You. Veterans. And then also, of course, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, and Survivor Benefits. Then they'll apply a new benchmark, inflation. Now, we all know what inflation is, but what's a benchmark and how does that work? What well, a benchmark is what they do every December, approximately. They write your letter saying, based upon our benchmark, next year your benefits are the same. Or they went up. They never stepped down. And your new benchmark would be inflation. Now, this is huge because inflation is going to reach its highest number of a generation this December. This is a time to be tied to that benchmark. It's wonderful news. But how high could inflation go? Jeremy Siegel two weeks ago said 20%. That might be too high on the high end. Then some analysts, like the head of the Federal Reserve out of Georgia, said 4% uh, growth now. We'll see 10.5% by December. Wow. A lot of analysts, financial analysts, said 4 to 6% inflation, 4 to 7% inflation. So let's use 6% as an example. This is how it would work. First, they would raise your benefits up one time under the fifth stimulus. Then in November, December, they would apply the benchmark. Let's say it's inflation, 6%. Your benefits would then step up, step up an additional 6%. Not just for one year. Lifetime. Because benchmarks only step you up or keep you the same. So if the year after that, it's 0%, you don't step down. If for five years, it's 0% inflation, you don't step down. You're always at plus 6%. If the year after that, it's 2%, then you add an additional 2% on top of the 6%. Yes, this is huge. With the highest inflation of a generation expected in December, your benefits would reach an enormous step up lifetime starting in January. This is wonderful. Then let's go over the other items of fifth stimulus. They're going to remove the asset cap. Thank goodness. Going and getting away of that, rid of that 1980s law that says you can't keep more than three thousand dollars on hand, just in time to get those stimulus checks in your hand. They're going to remove that 1960s law that says you can't work the income the income cap. It's going to go away. So now you can work and stay on benefits. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty, a thousand, two thousand dollars a month. You will be able to work and still stay on benefits. More importantly, they're getting rid of the marriage penalty. Did I just say something wrong? I said they're getting rid of the income exclusion. They're getting rid of the marriage penalty. The marriage penalty penalizes you for being married or prevents you from getting married for fear of losing your benefits. Now love is going to win, and you will be able to marry your long-time long love, love interests and not lose benefits. And if you are married, you will no longer suffer the marriage penalty. That's fifth stimulus. Two bill, two step, two month process starting September out the door by about you know October, November ish. That's what they represent, and then you would see the benefits hit your account by around November. The step up letter December, and then the step up benefits in January. Now, here's what you need to know, is that the president calls the fifth stimulus package a family's plan, but there's a lot of money in there for you and everyone else that aren't families. There's money in there for single individuals, single hazard pay, single seniors. There's a lot of money for single people in there. 
How do you know what's in there? You become a member. The membership link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. The value of becoming a member is that daily I send out to you what's in the fifth stimulus, what's in the fourth stimulus, and what's in the third stimulus. Because in a 20 in a 30 minute video that's currently at 25 minutes, I don't have time to go through all the items, all the packages. And it's your money. You need to know that you can get it. For example, did you know that there's has a pay in the Fistimus for single people? Yeah. So every day I send out via the community page of YouTube uh, a private message to only members. And if you have that delineates what's in the third, fourth, and fifth stimulus package. And if you have your YouTube account set up to your email address, you'll get that alert into your email box. It's important to at minimum become a subscriber to watch the videos because under fourth stimulus and third stimulus, there's a lot of other things that I don't have time to cover. Even worse, in the month of July, <laughs> it's going to be a busy month. There's a lot of things happening in the month of July that looks like something else, and it's not that other thing. For example, there's a budget bill that's going to go for a vote in the month of July. Not this budget item. <laughs> yeah. There are other Jalapal standalone bills that could call, be called for a vote. Not this Jalapal standalone bill. The in the, fourth, in the month of July, the fourth stimulus check goes out, detail in this video, but also what's going out is a third stimulus check. Yeah, so that's why it's helpful to become a member. A new political report, at least become a subscriber. A new political report revealed that 50% of Democrats polled had no idea what was in the fourth or fifth stimulus. And of those that said they had some sense, they said there was very little idea at all about what was in these stimulus packages. And with that, I want to give a wonderful salute to our veterans. Our veterans have been a very crit critical part of this channel since day one. Whether it's SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, or Veterans, I've been covering you since day one of this channel. When this channel only had about 100 subscribers, I made a video about, your, about this group and talked about that you're entitled to the second stimulus and that you'll get a second stimulus because no one was answering that question. That video of just 100-something subscribers went to 3 million views, a YouTube rare event. Videos don't go viral on that magnitude in the financial space, especially from small channels. It showed the importance of discussing your issues, and I stayed with your issues ever since. Most recently, third stimulus. Veterans got stimulus checks initially with everyone else, but others didn't, and they had their own separate wave of stimulus checks. So that's how I've remained committed to you, and it's my indebtedness to you for your service to our country. Thank you for your service to our country. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you to your families and their support for you as well. And thank you for everything that you have done throughout your time. And with that, I want to wish you also a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Now let's go back to four stimulus and go over what's important to understand, which is the voting process. I understand it's Memorial Day weekend, and there'll be less viewers here, obviously, going into next week. But I fully expect, going into Tuesday or Wednesday, when everyone comes back from the holidays, you will see these comments. They don't care, legislators. They're just dragging their feet. They should have voted on this on Tuesday and sent out the check on Wednesday, so I have the check on Thursday. No. <laughs> And that's why I want to empower you with this information now, so that when all those people come back after Memorial Day weekend, you will have the answer for them. There is nine steps of voting process to get this out the door. And those nine steps are required by the Constitution, not required by Schumer, Pelosi, or myself, or anyone else. Required by the Constitution, and there's no way to cut corners on it. So let's go over those nine steps so you understand what's going to go on. The first half are procedural, the second half are substantive. Remember, the, two, the, the recon is a two-step, two-bill process. All right, step one. House subcommittee has to call vote on the procedural part of the bill. Step two, the House floor has to call vote on the procedural bill. Step three, the Senate floor calls a procedural vote, a vote on the procedural bill. Step four, the president signs into law the procedural bill. That's the tow truck. It's passed over the finish line. Time to do the tow hitch, the substantive bill. All right, number five, the House subcommittee does the substantive bill and calls it for a vote. That's the, the uh, Ways and Means Committee, those seven House members who wrote the president a letter. Then the House floor calls a vote on the substantive bill. Then we have steps seven and eight, a two-day event in the Senate called the Votorama, where the senators can, can submit amendments to the legislation Add in stimulus checks if they have not been added in or increase the amount or decrease the amount. That's the Votorama. And finally, step nine is the present signs of the law. You clearly see with that information, as you are now empowered with that information, that you not only understand what's in the third, fourth, and fifth stimulus package, but you also understand how they get done and how they can't get done in one day or two days.
And with that, I encourage you to always stay positive, always stay motivated. If someone doesn't understand what something, how something is done, inform them, educate them, keep them positive. The focus of this channel is keeping things positive. And we will certainly be bringing back the Purple Power push in the next few days as we start to push to ensure they do the right thing and get out what they have so promised. And with that, make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single video. I'm next with you on Evening's Crypto. A wonderful show and a lot of laughs and a lot of great information. Viewers are loving it. Then Overnight's Crypto, as this channel has now become the fastest growing cryptocurrency channel on YouTube. So with 400,000 subscribers, next stop is 1 million. Subscribe. Also, like this video and consider becoming a member. Stay informed, stay focused, always stay positive, always stay informed, and have a beautiful evening. I'll see you back in about an hour and a half from now as Evening Crypto heats up. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LIP.